very good morning students today we are going to discuss about uh, very good error morning analysis. students today we are going to uh, discuss, we'll discuss about statistical uh, methods error, error analysis, analysis in for the grouped data and okay. this is one this of the problem, problem we are posting here we are given with well, measuring test, temperature is measured the hundred times the variation in apparatus and produces the following uh, results. Now see here the, the temperature 397 occurs one time. We can categorize this time. data in 398 uh, occurs ungrouped three times. data. This is called the frequency, of, no frequency occurrence. of occurrence. So now if any data is given with uh, ungrouped data. this frequency of occurrence, we, are we can going to call this as grouped data. Okay, previously uh, deviation we have and seen the ungrouped data. Now this is the grouped data. For this we are going to find out arithmetic mean average deviation standard deviation varies. Probable error of See, one reading. Mean, okay. For ungrouped now data, I show the summation formula. of x by the n. first problem is, is based on ungrouped data. data. Will now it is a summation of x multiplied by frequency of again, occurrence. Again, so whenever we have the frequency of occurrence, mean we can say this as grouped data. Always comes with so, this. So whenever you find f, we have to use yeah. this formula divided right. by summation. So of, yeah. summation of modulus then average of d deviation. Average deviation is there is no frequency. Uh, d bar is equal frequency. to summation of modulus so of have, d divided by n. We are going to n. use all d these nothing but normal deviation from each reading. We have to calculate x minus x bar. This is arithmetic mean calculated from the first formula. Correct. Then for standard deviation, um, for ungrouped data we have two formula. When n is greater than twenty and n is less than twenty. Correct. That we that is a very th important thing we have to remember in this. Uh, ungrouped data formulas but for grouped data there is no such a classification and all so we have to use uh, for number of anything we have to use the same formula and variance is always a square of the standard deviation and the probable error of one reading is r1 this indicates one reading okay one reading is 0 0.6745 multiplied by the standard deviation in both of the cases okay now our data comes under this a data comes under ungrouped data that we will discuss now okay for the given data it's always good to form a table like this okay so it's ungrouped data uh, we have 10 readings which is here we can write uh, n is less than 20 so we have to remember that one okay n is less than 20 so i, am, I have written here all the 10 readings here and then based on the formula requirements i have written models of d in one column and uh, Models of d square in another column, okay? Because arithmetic mean is nothing but mm, first formula summation of x divided by n, correct? This is nothing but arithmetic mean. So I have already find out the arith uh, arithmetic mean here, okay? So this is your arithmetic mean, and second formula is uh, average deviation, correct? So average deviation formula is we know already d bar is equal to summation of modulus of d divided by n so as we need modulus of modulus of d i have uh, used here modulus of d in one column so i'll find out modulus of d is nothing but um, modulus of x minus x bar so for each reading we have we have to find out x minus x bar so first reading 39.6 minus x bar x bar formula that is arithmetic mean here summation of x summation of x value is 398.7 and uh, divided by n value is 10 so divided by 10 i am getting 39.87 as the arithmetic mean it's always better to have two decimal places so that uh, my accuracy will be good okay so average deviation d bar is equal to summation of modulus of d so the d will be found out from this formula for each reading correct and then third formula is uh, i need standard deviation standard deviation for that i know the formula correct if it is n is less than 20 i have one formula that only i have to write okay so square root of summation of d square divided by n minus 1 that you have to remember if it is uh, less than 20 okay for less than uh, 20 so if it is greater than 20 there is another formula you will get n as it is correct so number of observation here is 10 only that's why i have used this formula so i need summation of d square so i have used here uh, d square or modulus of d square it's enough either it is okay okay so i have to find out 0.27 the whole square is what so like this i have to complete this table okay so i have completed the table now 
the modulus of p value for the all 10 readings correct similarly d square so square of the deviation will be like this and adding all these values i will get a summation of modulus of d correct and then adding all these values is nothing but summation of d square correct summation of d square so i uh, i got all the values based on our uh, formula requirement now correct so now see here uh, average deviation is summation of modulus of d divided by n which is nothing but 1.5 summation of modulus of d is 1.5 from the table so number of observation is 10 so i'll get this as 0.15 correct the standard deviation summation of d square divided by n minus 1 as my number of observations are uh, less than 20 that is n is equal to 10 so I, I can find out sigma is equal to square root of summation of d square is 0 0.441 divided by n minus 1 that is 10 minus 1 correct so I, I can find out 0 0.441 see here 0 0.441 uh, divided by 9 okay so the answer is 0 0.049 so sigma is equal to 0.049 so this is your standard variation and then fourth one is so i am going to find out uh, variance correct what is variance the formula for variance is square of the standard deviation correct so if i square this i will get 2.401 into 10 power minus 3 into 10 power minus 3 so which can be written as a um, point not not point not not 2 so minus 3 means i have to add one more uh, two more zeros correct point not not two uh, four zero one this is my uh, variance correct then probable error probable error probable error of one reading correct r1 is equal to 0 0.6745 multiplied by sigma so we have to multiply this value um well 0 0.33 0 0.033 this is the probable error reading okay so now i got all the values um, these are values so variance and probable error correct this is a variance and this is the probable error and then uh, standard deviation this is standard deviation and the average deviation this is average deviation and arithmetic mean is 39.87 okay thank you all for watching this